So it seems like there's a perception among the media, among a lot of people, that Jimmy Garoppolo is sort of pulling away in the quarterback competition, if there ever was one, that Jimmy Garoppolo was really outplaying. Uh, I, I don't really know what the narrative is. It's either that Jimmy Garoppolo is outplaying Trey Lance or that Trey Lance isn't ready or both. And it's based on the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo played well in front of the fans at Levi Stadium yesterday and played well today when half the defense was out. So uh, I figured I would address that real quick because it seems like that's the accepted narrative right now. Jimmy Garoppolo outplaying Trey Lance, pulling away in this quarterback competition, really putting to bed the idea that there ever was a quarterback competition and really forcing Lance into a backup role until 2022 at the earliest. Seems to be the narrative that the Niners want to push. And I'm saying they want to do that because they want people to think that Jimmy Garoppolo is a high-level quarterback, top 12, top 10. So I just thought it would be informative to share the, the numbers, the stats from practice. These are these are my stats that I've kept. I encourage you to ask any beat writer to share their numbers. I'm sure we'll be all close within about four or five. So what I have is through 10 days of camp, Jimmy Garoppolo, 89 of 141. That's a modest 63%, respectable. I think league average is 64%. I'm going to check that. 63% in practice. Five touchdowns, three interceptions. That's about standard for Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm not saying he's playing bad. I mean, that's what he's doing. He's playing with an offense that doesn't have really any injuries. Everyone's out there. Debo missed a day. Use check missed a day today. But mostly everyone's been out there. And those are his numbers. 63% completions, five touchdowns, three picks. Okay. Trey Lance. He's 82 of 118. That's 69% completions. Nine touchdowns, seven seven throwing, two rushing, two interceptions. Now, of course, Trey Lance is playing with the backups. And Jimmy Garoppolo is playing with the starters. So it's hard to compare. But to say that Jimmy Garoppolo is winning the quarterback competition, I, based on what? I don't understand that one. I'm not trying to put down James. James is a good guy, and he's, he's performing well at camp. He's being a pro. I respect it. It's not his fault that he's not as good as Trey Lance. I'm sorry. It's not his it's not his fault that he's not as good as Trey Lance and it's not my job to go to camp and try to create a compelling drama where one day Jimmy's better than him and one day Trey Lance is Nah, man. I mean, no. Trey Lance is better than Jimmy Garoppolo every day. It's just that the 49ers are working overtime to make Jimmy Garoppolo look really good because they have to trade him. So what happened was last week, they installed the whole Trey Lance offense, you know, zone reads from a million different looks, zone reads where he's faking to the running back, faking to the wide receiver, faking uh, to the running back, and then running an option with the wide. I mean, faking faking a, a handoff and then throw like triple. I, I've never saw so many options in my life. I, I don't even want, I couldn't even give away half of it. If I wanted to, there's, there are, there are gonna there are gonna be types of options to make you draw a drop. New stuff. Also, all the play action stuff with movement that Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't offer. It's a whole different offense for Trey Lance. They installed it last week in front of the media. That's when everyone was like, "Oh my God, this guy's Patrick Mahomes and Russell Wilson in one." Wow, this guy's great. The Niners really got the the pick right. He completed like twenty of twenty two passes at one point. He was destroying the 49ers defense with, you know, Trent Sherfield and Ross Dwelly and uh, Richie James Jr. and Jermichael Hasty and Wayne Gallman. That, that, that's who he most of the time was dicing up the Niners and his legs. So, I mean, that narrative got pretty big. And now I think the Niners are trying to make it seem like, well, if Jimmy's even better than Trey, then maybe Jimmy's worth the first round pick. So now instead of letting Trey Lance do the offense that he's going to be doing during the season and that he was crushing the Niners with. They're going back to the Jimmy offense, the vanilla offense, which they're going to use week one against the Chiefs, not week one, preseason game one against the Chiefs. So uh, in that case, I mean, today, Trey Lance was still was aided 12 with two drops. Like he's also playing well. I don't understand where the narrative's coming that he's not playing as well. Kind of strange. But so he's 8-12 with two drops. And uh, 
So that make him 10 to 12, basically. So, yeah, I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo is playing well. It's just you're not getting the big, big plays out of Trey Lance because the offense is quick throw, quick throw, quick throw, like play action, dump it in the flat or slant. Or it's just a bunch of short stuff because what we're going to see, I think, in the preseason game is Jimmy Garoppolo getting the ball out of his hands as quickly as possible. A lot of the stuff we saw the last two days and, you know, hope I think the Niners are going to hope that some people in the media make a big deal out of him throwing these quick throws. And that they drive up the Jimmy Garoppolo hype. That's what we're going to see, I think. I don't think the Niners are going to show off all the Trey Lance stuff. I mean, of course they're not going to show that stuff off in preseason, right? You never do that. You keep it vanilla. So I don't know if Trey Lance is really going to have an opportunity to wow people. But if they pull this off with Jimmy and really create a narrative that he's playing great, and I think they're almost pulling it off. A lot of people believe this. They just might get the offer they want for him, the first-round pick. I'm telling you, once Houston trades Deshaun Watson, anything is possible. And the Niners know it. So instead of getting Jimmy Garoppolo ready for a full season of being a starter, they're benching all their defensive players and saying, Jimmy, you're going to have a good practice today. We are going to make sure. (laughs) I love it. Jason Verrett, you are playing too well. Take a day off. Jimmy Ward, playing too well. Take a day off. Those two broke up like eight passes yesterday. Benched. Get the heck. Who do you think? Have we not explained what the goal of the offseason? We are trying to trade Jimmy Garoppolo, and you're over here breaking up his passes? Do you know that they're charting his completions? What are you thinking? Jason, stop being so selfish. You think I'm joking. You think I'm joking. And then they get benched, and Jimmy Garoppolo goes up against Fred Warner, and then they benched him for like two or three series. They're like, Fred, we talked about this. We talked about this. Paying you 19 million a year. Can't you just go? Can't you just make Jimmy? Come on. Even Emmanuel Mosley, he's like, not on my watch. He broke up like three passes today, two or three. He's like, nah, sorry, Jimmy. You're going to have to throw on Dante Johnson today. I'm not going to let you do that. It's just that Jimmy throws the ball like 40 miles. An, it's like 40 miles an hour. It's really soft. And when he's going up against backups, man, he shreds those guys, especially because he has all the starters around him. Man, you got to love how the Niners are making are pulling this off. It's not easy. It's not easy, man. Because the perception is that Jimmy makes people better. He doesn't. The Niners prop him up. He's on a great offense. And he limits it. So they're propping, man. There is some serious propage going on right now. I respect it. I just think you guys should know the truth. I mean, come on. Trey Lance is better than Jimmy Garoppolo. Have I said that? Okay. Here's what I want to say, though. Let me have some LaCroix real quick. I'm thirsty. Oh, so good. Mm. Ah, okay. Oh, no, I should answer some questions, huh? You guys you guys answer some, ask some questions. I should ask some questions. But then, but, but then I'm going to answer. I'm going to talk about what I want. Hold on. My accepted narrative is the pump and dub is in full effect, Grant. Could they be doing a better job at it? No, I think they're, they're doing a great job. I mean, they're really getting the media to help them pump which is amazing because it's like you can go and watch and use your eyes. But some people don't want to use their eyes. Some people are like, well, let's look at both sides. Hey, let's be nice. Let's say Jimmy played well too. The Niners clearly want us to pump pump up Jimmy Garoppolo. So why don't I do that? And you know what? It'll make me seem unbiased. It's like, no, man, just, just report your honest perception. You can do that. It's okay. That's what I try to do. Usually end up being right. Anyway.